juntos. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Yeah, I'm okay, and you? Everything good? Tired, but happy, as always. Okay. You, Erika, how do you feel tonight? Erika, can you hear us? Hi, Osmin. I'm here. Hello, good night. Hi, how are you doing? I am fine. Pretty good. Okay, let me see who else has joined. Nobody? All right. Well, welcome, guys. Thank you for can being you on time. Me? Yes, Erika, can you hear me? Yes. All right, good. And we have Elizabeth who's always in class too. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome. Okay, well, let me share with you. Let me share my screen. We're gonna get back to working on the platform. <clears throat> and we left off here. We're gonna do section 2.3, all right? We're gonna use enough, many, fewer, and more. Let me see. <clears throat> So how do you some there should be fewer? This video we already watched, right? I or, think it's so good. So very similar. That's the thing. Let me see. Hold on. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to too many. And when we're going to yes. do too much, for example, too in this much. case, is to make sense of that last statement opinion about what I think we need in. This is the one we watched last night, right? Yes. That's the same. Hmm. Why am I here again? Okay. Well, so the exercise then. Um, there are. What is the right one for number one? Um, Alan. Which is correct. And there aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police. Uh -huh. There are. There, there aren't. Um, there aren't too many police officers in my city. The first. Um, but you cannot use too many. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? In the there negative form, aren't. you cannot use it. There, there aren't, aren't enough. Enough, enough police enough. officers. Yes, that one is right. So can you do this exercise with me, guys, please? Open the platform, everyone. Do it with me on section 2.5. Section 2. What? Uh -huh. I am Number 2, Elisa. Cuffed in the rush. There, there is too much traffic, so the government needs, needs to build more highways. Needs to build more highways. Very good. Welcome, guys, for the ones who just joined. We're working on section 2.5. Thank you. Two. Let's do that together. Number three, Esther. You're on mute. Sorry. Uh, there. There are, there is much pollution in my city. Right, because pollution is uncountable, you use the verb in the singular form, right? Jose Luis, number four. I can sleep at night, there should be Less noise. To be less noise, yes. Very good. That is right. Okay, next, Ellington. Okay. 
Let me see this. Complete the following statement using quantity. So what is the right answer here? The government needs to build too many, fewer or more highways. Um, Let me show you the answer. To build more, more highways. More. Let's see if that is right. Let me see. And everything is right. Okay, I hope you completed this part, guys. Let's see what the next topic is. Any questions about this? 2.5. Wait. Yes, let's get here. 2.5. Okay. Let's see what the next topic is. 2.5. Okay, can you read the objective, please, Anna? Okay. Uh, let's learn how to ask and answer great questions in English. In this lesson, practice using indifferent questions by discussing a city or new destination. By the end of this class, you will be able to form polite indirect questions, such as, could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Can you tell me how often the bus run? And do you know where I can catch the bus? This lesson will help you seek information using polite, grammatically correct in... Yes, thank you. That was good. Very well read. Okay, so this is our next topic, guys, indirect questions. Um, it's very interesting because you're not used to making sentences like this. It's like the opposite of what you have learned. So pay attention to how it is formed. What I really need you to write down is the structure. Pay attention to the structure, write it down, and I will explain further later, right? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? <clears throat> Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be, and we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do 
or did. Okay, well, <clears throat> I have a question for you guys. Now let's try to make sense of this. Why do we use indirect questions? Did you listen to what it said on the video? Why do we have to use indirect questions sometimes? Uh, uh, question, uh, direct question? Uh -huh. To be polite, exactly. Yes, we're gonna use the reason why you have to use indirect questions, guys, is only because you wanna, they are way more polite. Okay, to be polite, that's it. And for some reason in the United States, every time you speak, you have to be very polite with people. Right, saying please is not enough. You have to be, I was wondering, and you have to go beat around the bush a lot. All right. So imagine you're talking to your boss, right? And you're like, you're going to be like, is it okay for me in Spanish, guys? Is it okay for me to say, Jefe, ¿cuándo mi vacación? Is that okay? No, Did right? You know? It depends on, on the relationship, but, yeah. or is it better to say, eh, quería saber. Cuando, la, la, la. What is better for you? What do you think? The second one or the first one? The second one. Uh -huh, exactly. So you have to like do some more introduction, right? The, and the same thing in the United States. These are the most common questions. To be polite with strangers, with, I don't know, with friends, probably with your neighbors, with uh, work relationships, okay? I'm gonna give you a general structure because this structure is very long. I will give you one, okay? This is an alternative. That is not the, the structure, but I will propose this because it's easier and it's applicable for all tenses. This is applicable for present simple, for past, for the future, for anything, okay? So in direct questions, the structure that I propose is gonna go like this. You're gonna use the expression plus, Subject, okay, now plus, what do we have here, WH, hmm. plus if or WH, okay, plus statement, simple as that, right, that is a general structure for indirect questions. What do I mean by expression? By expression, I mean, can you identify the expressions on, on the video? Where are they? The Could additional expressions. Me. Okay, Could, very good. Could you, tell? Could you tell me? What else? Do you know? Do you know? That's the expression. What else? Can you oh, tell them. Can you tell me? And do you know? And do you know? Those are the expressions, to be polite. So that's an example, okay? Expression is gonna be, for example, could you tell me, you know, can you tell me, those are the expressions, okay? And if it's a yes, no question, I would like you to use if. If it's a WH question, I would like you to use the WH word, okay? And what is the meaning of statement, guys? A compliment. Statement is una oración. Okay, and how do you make one? I'm going to say, for example, my sister lives in uh, Mexicanos, actually. I will give you a real example. Okay, my sister lives in Mexicanos. This is a statement. Okay, yes or no? Yes. Is it a complete yes. sentence, yes or no? Okay, and I can also make it negative if I want. All right, so this is what I have to use here. Now, give me, let's do it together. Give me an expression, guys. Tell me an expression. Call, so three. Call you, call you tell me where is, where is the, the bank? Sorry, I'm gonna mute everyone. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna say the expression is, could you tell me? And no. 
And about this. And about this. Guys, let's mute the microphone, please, because I'm getting the microphone. I'm getting echo. I'm getting, getting echo. Yeah, thank you. It's better. All right, could you tell me where? That's it, that because it's a WH question. All right, could you tell me where? And then tell me where the bank is. Your <laughs> sister lives. Okay. So this is an, an indirect question. Could you tell me and then here where? And here you have a statement. Your sister lives. You see, you need, we don't use any auxiliaries here. We don't use do, does, we don't use any of that. We use this, the conjugation of the verb. Is that clear? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay, if you notice, I'm using this. My sister lives. Your sister lives. It's not a question anymore, okay? Well, that is what I propose you do. All right, you, we can see this later. But let's see the explanation of all of it, all right? This whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank? into an indirect question and the way that we will do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb so in this case could you tell me all right and then this is going to be followed by a wh word in this case it happens to be where but it could be any other wh word for example it could be what time how often when etc any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case I'll ask where, this is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case could you tell me where the bank is. And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verb. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this um, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word, so in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's gonna change now, and instead of saying the bank, we're not gonna say the restrooms. And then it's gonna follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay. What we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, it's going to be how often. 
All right. And then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is the buses. And then that is followed by the verb. And so in this case, it's no longer the verb to be, but now it's the verb leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking. So you can ask in the form of, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Um, and then it just repeats itself with do you know. So in this case, we're going to use do you know. That's the second question there. Do you know what time the bank opens? So let me go ahead and write that example now. Do you know? That follows the WH word. So in this case, is what time? Then that follows the subject. And one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question, we remove the auxiliary verb. So we don't include does or do. It no longer exists in our indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? And the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an S. And that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present, therefore we need an S as you can see there. And uh, well, let's do the last one there. Uh, what, um, when did flight 566 arrive? So in that case, um, the question could be, do you know? And the WH word is when. And uh, the subject is flight 566. And in this case, we have to change the verb to the past because we're not, we're not using an auxiliary. Uh, like we're using the auxiliary, when did fly 566 arrive? In this case, this verb is in the present, but that's because we're using the auxiliary did. So in this case, since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned, we need to change that verb to the past form. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some questions here. These are common questions that people ask whenever they visit another country, another city, a place you're not familiar with. What are those questions? For example, how much do taxes cost? And remember that our goal is to change these direct questions into indirect questions. And you're going to follow this formula that I gave. We're going to, not going to do this exercise yet. And I know you're getting a little tired. So the first thing I want you to do is to discuss some questions that are already used in the indirect form, OK? I sent it to your WhatsApp, I think. Let me open it. OK, here it is. Let me share it with you. Look. So it says, um, do you know how to ride a bike? OK, this is an indirect question. Do you know where the library is? In, in San Salvador, for example. Do you know what Treasure Island is? And you're simply going to say, uh, no, I don't, or yes, I do. It's something like la, la, la. OK, all the questions here start with do you know, because that is an expression for the indirect questions, OK? So I want you to ask the questions and discuss them. Simple as that. All right, any questions? No? OK. Well, let's practice for a little bit and answer the questions, okay? Through speaking, so no writing right now. I'm going to make the groups, accept the invitation, please. There it is. And let's practice. Hi, me. Hello. I think I will start. Um, 
Do you know how to ride a bike? Hello, Victor Victor. Tobias. Hello, Victor. Hello, hello. Hello, hello teacher. Victor. How are you all? <laughs> okay. Okay, and then this, okay. teacher, we have to, the that's are in direct question and you will have to, to put in indirect question. No, just discuss the questions. Just the, ah, okay. Yes, that exercise we're gonna do later. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Ellington, could you tell me, do you know, well, do you know uh, how to ride a bike? Uh, mm, yes. The teacher. Uh, you are at the downtown? San Salvador, in front yes. of the cathedral. In front of the cathedral? Is yes. the park? No, between, in front of the park is the library. The, uh -huh. it, the, this, that building was the hipotecario bank. Ah, I know. It's a... Uh... The other. Do you know where the library is? Yes, I know. Um, yes. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, he was born in... Ataco City, Aguacha. Ah, Aguacha. Aguacha. That's good. Um, next, do you know here, per, uh, sorry, do you know where your mother is, Anna? I didn't. No, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. The question is, if I like you know where, to do you know the where library. the library is? Ah, yes, yes, I know. There are so many libraries in here, near of my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Library is biblioteca, is that what you're talking about? Biblioteca, yes. Really? Where do I you know. live? I live in Mexicano, but we have so much places so many. like that over here. Many, many, many places, yeah. Library. It is not librería. No, that that's bookstore. Library. Ah, bookstore. Library. Oh, sorry, it's the other, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but. Nineteen forty-two. November eighteen. Some some tips for for to do calculus. And you, you know how to do calculus. Um, Can you hear Tatiana? I think that she is frozen. Creo que le está fallando el internet porque está lloviendo fuerte. Ah, okay. Well, what a pity. So, do you know how to do calculus? Yeah, I know. In my case, I, I, yes. I am. I, yes, I, have, I, do. <laughs> I do. What type of, of calculus? The one or two? You know the difference. Calculus one or two, Osman. <laughs> no, let's teach again. You have a pro. Hello? ¿Qué es lo que iba a decir? Él enseñaba a gobernar. Él enseñó a gobernar. How do you say? He taught. Le enseñó a quién? How to rule everyone, everybody, a todos. So everyone, how to govern? How to rule? 
Barack Obama. Keep tall. Uh, uh, keep tall. Talk. Everyone how to do. Yeah. Or how to, or how to govern. Okay. 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 Teacher, can you pronounce please? What? Thought or govern? No, he thought or thought. Thought. Oh, it's oh thought. Oh, oh, oh. Thought. Oh. <laughs> No, oh, don't pronounce it oh, you. Don't pronounce it you. Talk, talk. Como que no sale el clavo, talk. Uh -huh. Talk. Talk. Explain yeah. oh, okay. means is explicar los medios. I don't know. I don't understand. Teacher, tell us. <laughs> Which what? one? Yes. Do you know what explain means? What you know what? Explain. Is it está abajo de la palabra start. Mm -hmm. What's the definition of explain? The word. Mm -hmm. the, the definition of the word. I think it's describe something. Mm -hmm. It's to describe something. What else? I don't know. Is to give um, give instructions, right? To describe something, yeah. Very good. Okay, thank you. And I don't know the next question. Uh, it was in in twenty July twenty from July twenty nineteen forty. Nineteen forty, uh huh. Forty. I don't know. Nineteen, yes. Yeah. Okay. Did you discuss the questions? Yeah. All right, very good. Now part we're gonna do, sorry? The big part of them. Majority of them. Uh, uh, and what, what? The what is the expression? The majority of them. Majority. Majority, okay, yes. thanks. Sure, okay, guys, we're gonna do this time, you need to modify the direct questions and turn them into indirect questions, well, okay? to practice more so uh, the first one is where does she play tennis you have to start with the expression can you tell me so we have to write can you tell me what can you tell me we have to follow the structure right can you tell where? me now i need it for where where that would be each other. where can you tell me where uh-huh where she does play tennis. No, we're not using the auxiliary. Where, uh, where, where she plays tennis. Plays. Where she plays tennis. You need where the S because she that's plays. not the auxiliary. Where she plays tennis. Let me check it. Yes. That's good. Okay. So that is what I have what you have to do. Um you're gonna work in pairs, okay? Let me send you this. I'm gonna send it here and I will also send it to WhatsApp. Okay. So here it is. All right, open the link and I want you to work in pairs, okay? Transforming this into indirect questions. Do you have any questions? Okay. No? Yeah, nope, no, nope. Not at the moment. Thank you. Okay, I guess not. So hold on. There. Accept the invitation, please. Open the link. Let's work together. I'll deal with you in a second.
Um, we will, okay, we will practice in the first test. Um, where does she, where does she play tennis? Um, uh, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Uh, Ah, aquí puede ser do you know? Uh -huh, that's a yes, no question. So you have to use if. If. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if he lives in Paris? Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah, if, if he question. lives question. letter yes, S, right? If he lives in Paris. If he lives in if Paris. Check. <clears throat> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we got the first. <laughs> Next. Is she hungry? Ah, okay. Can you tell me what what is this? No, because that's a question. Um, you need the subject and then the verb. Uh -huh. What is okay? No, that's okay. Can you tell me what is okay? Then you need subject and verb. What this is? Yes, perfect. That's the one. If she he is hungry. If she, if she is was hungry. hungry, if she, if she works in Canada, I think. If what? If they works, work they? Ah, uh, I don't know. Work they in Canada? I think it's like you say. If work they works they in Canada. No. If work 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 they work works. No. Can you tell me if Where can you tell me where? Can you tell me where? If if they if they work, yes. Yes. Can yeah. you tell me the next? Can you tell me? Does they work? If they work in Canada. No, no, no. No, siempre me sale mala. I can help you. What number? <laughs> uh, um, Josie to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> no. Osmin, uh, write the, the, the sentences, the, the question, but uh, always, always uh, is bad. Me solo oh. sola, Sucho. <laughs> Why, Osmin? <laughs> Can you share your screen? You're using the computer, right, Osmin? Let me sí. see what you're doing. Pero and you, Elizabeth, you're getting the right answers. 
Yes, yes, ah. I... Uh, there you go, Osmi, now you can see, Alisa. Okay. Ah, look, <laughs> number one, it says can yo, it says yo, it doesn't say you. You, tell me. Oh. Osmi. <laughs> you see? And there you need, can you tell me? Can you tell can, me? Can you tell me? Tell me. If. 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 Not is no if with F Osman. If he Delight. lives lives with letter S lives. letter S in Paris. Paris. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next. Is he for? The other way, guys. Become, for be, became or become to to equation, we need to put is in the in the end of the of the equation. Yes. What is? No, what this? This is. is. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Do they work in Canada? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Okay. If, if they, they were in Canada. Did John and Louis meet? Yes. Yes. You have yeah, to add can those. Me? Can you tell me when? When do? Can you John, tell me when do John and Luke meet? Yes. Yes. And the number seven is: Is he a lawyer? Sorry. <laughs> A mí me salen malas, chicos, no sé qué pasa. <laughs> Tiene que... Can you tell me when... When John and, John and Luke met? Without, without do. Okay. Can you tell me when John and Luke meet? Is if if niña, aquí la aquí me ayudan para cuidar a cuidarme. We finished. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. Ah, we finished. Really? Nobody yeah. has finished. Nobody except you. That's good. Yeah, really. Yeah. We need we need a premium. <laughs> you need a reward, a prize. No? We need a reward. Yeah, I can't think a lot. We need a star. <laughs> we need a digital star. <laughs> all right, well done. And did you get all of them right? One hundred percent. Okay, let's go back. 100%. Good job. How many how many exercises did you finish, guys? Only, Twenty. Only seven. <laughs> seven. Yes. Seven. Well, some people finish all twenty of them. Be honest. How many did you finish? Seven. Twenty. Ten. Ten. Okay. <laughs> Halfway through. Seven. Okay. Seven. What else? Eight. Eight. Not bad. Okay, try to finish that as homework because the next exercise, this is present simple, okay? The next exercise will be in the past. All right, let's do this together. Um, we have to do, let me see, section 2.8, based on the audio, guys. So I, I don't know if you remember the answers, but give them to me, let's do this together. 
All right, number one, Jose Luis, you have it, go ahead. We can listen to the voice note, guys. <laughs> so based on the listening activity from the video, if you don't have the answers, we can listen to it again. But could you tell me Mr. where the Sir. nearest ATM is? Where is it? It's yes. observed across it's from the duty it's free shop. It's observed across from the duty one. free shop. It's upstairs. It's upstairs. Right, very good. Number two, Alan. <laughs> Alan, you're so tired. Based on the listening activity, <laughs> how often do the buses run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Okay, like approximately. Very good. Uh, where, what other information does Eric ask for? The cost of Me? the bus. Oh. The cost Me? of a bus to the city. To the Who city? say me? Whoever is saying me, yes. Go ahead, number four. <laughs> How could you transform the following sentence into an indirect question? Where's the nearest internet cafe? Would you tell me where the nearest internet cafe is yes could you tell me where aha uh -huh. could you tell me where the nearest internet where? cafe is yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes that's the one thank you and finally mm -hmm. uh, what is the indirect form for how late do the buses run do you know how late the buses run do you know how late no this is not right no. do you know the how last late one, that yes do you know how late the run? Okay, very good. Now, um, for the last part of the class, because I know it's a lot of information, we will finish this topic tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna finish here, but I want you to practice some speaking as always. Look at, check what's up, guys. I'm gonna send you some fun questions for you to discuss. For example, the first question says, and we will finish this tomorrow too, but we're just gonna discuss three. Let me see what time we have, three questions. First question says, if you could invite three people to dinner, anybody in the world, living or dead, <laughs> so that means that you can invite Albert Einstein if you want. Okay, or somebody who is alive. Who? Who would you invite and why? It can be fictional too, so you can inv invite, um, I don't know, a superhero too. So discuss those fun questions, all right? And we're gonna finish those tomorrow. So we're gonna go in groups of three. Just practice speaking. Let's see, all right. There. Accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. people to dinner, living dead, fictional or real, who will they be? Who will they be? Uh, some, somebody live, somebody alive, who, if you, bah, si, si, pode, si pudieras invitar a tres personas a cenar, Alguien vivo, alguien muerto y alguien ficción. Ellington. Ah, uh, who <laughs> should? Okay. Um, Luis, whoever is ready. Um, if I call 
Somebody leave. Leave. Um, three. Three person with my. That. Okay. Three. Okay. Uh, for example, I don't know Alan and Josué and Sandra. Uh, with. Uh, sorry. It, you can invite Scarlett Johansson if you want, Ellington. You don't want to invite her? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, no. no. I, <laughs> you don't want to? Really? Ah, your, your wife are listening. <laughs> <laughs> your wife are listening. Sorry. And if he doesn't have earphones. <laughs> yeah, you need to use the head. Okay. Right. <laughs> Jose Luis, who would you invite? Tell me, please, Dua Lipa. Ah, uh, Dua Lipa is one of the three. Dua Lipa, Marilyn Monroe, the second, and <laughs> Dua Lipa. Real, or, <laughs> or Pete Canal. I don't know. Exposito. Oh, Ale or, or the Alexis Texas or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. No, it, it's a lie. That's <laughs> good. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. I I invite I will invite a restaurant <laughs> to eat for for chicken. <laughs> ah, some somebody fictional, fictional, yes. <laughs> mm, fictional. like an actress. They're not mm. fictional. <laughs> yeah, it's an actress. Oh, Probably well, yeah. Mia Khalifa. A Mia Khalifa is an actress. Ah, character. Ah, okay. Uh, shadow. <laughs> and character. I, I can't remember. Like, aha, uh -huh, exactly. Mm. That would be a fictional one. Blue, you know, Black Widow. I don't, I can't remember. Aha, mm. uh -huh, you can invite her. Okay, if you yeah. had to pay year of work, so imagine they're paying you every month, but you don't have to work. How would you spend that year? What would you do that year? Things. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, my father spend it. How would you spend one year? What would you do during that year? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I. What would you do, Raúl? If you had a pay, I, I, I want to travel around the world. Oh, okay, that's good. And you, Osmin? Um, Sorry to, to interrupt. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You don't know what you would do with that one year. You have money. <laughs> you get your salary every month. Mm -hmm. We will we'll go to meet uh, Las Chicas de la Mafia. Okay. <laughs> and you, Ana? And Raul read my mind because I think the same. I think so. You I travel. travel. Yeah, for sure. That's what we have to do. Okay, and the last question. <laughs> we are single. We we are dreamer, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, I got married. <laughs> Get married. Okay. Uh, what does your perfect ice cream sun Sunday look like? What does your perfect ice cream? What a question. <laughs> Uh -huh. My, I think uh, vanilla ice cream with a lot of chocolate. <laughs> I, I chocolate syrup. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like um, ice cream. <gasps> Seriously. <No. laughs> <Sacamos la del grupo. laughs> Remove. Yeah. Remove. <laughs> I have the option. <laughs> no, I mean, so it, it's okay. <laughs> I can't I like believe that you don't like ice cream. That's Elizabeth, something. 
but what about fruit, fruit ice cream without milk? Exactly, exactly. You like I it? like, like nieve? What do we call that? In nieve. Oh, okay. Nieve. I like, I like nieve of um, um, mango. Mango, mango ice cream. And do you like milk? Mm, yes, but there's lactose. Ah, well, that's why you don't like it, because you're lactose intolerant. You see? I know. <laughs> no, I'm not going to remove her. There, It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What about you, Victor? Well, we no, I, I love ice cream. <laughs> uh, my favorite. Well, I overheard some people want to invite Esposito, I don't know what, and Black Widow. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, who else? Ladies, <laughs> come on, we have to invite uh, Mario Michael Cass, Jackson. You know. <laughs> who? Michael Jackson. Ah, yes. <laughs> Play a concert for right? Yeah, come on. Invite, invite for me. For me. <laughs> <laughs> who, Elizabeth? What did you say? It's invite for Victor, Michael Jackson. Yes. Great option, Victor. And Messi. <laughs> no, not Messi. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Safe. Well, thank you very much, guys. I will see you tomorrow for another class, okay? I hope you have a good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Dreams. <laughs>